Hey there, I'm Brandon Graham, and thank you for joining us for Largo V News, your City of Largo video newsletter, keeping you in the know and on the go with what's happening right here in Largo. So let's get started. The City of Largo is working on a major construction project at locations throughout the city, and you may be affected. It's called the Wet Weather Monitoring and Pumping System Project. Now, I know that's a mouthful, but what it means is that Largo is repairing, replacing, and adding sanitary sewer lines. In a nutshell, Largo is constructing 14 miles of new pipeline and improving seven lift stations. Why? Well, the project is designed to alleviate and prevent sewer overflows during heavy rain events. The project is an important step forward in Largo's efforts to safeguard the public, protect the ecosystem, upgrade capacity, and accommodate growth. So what can you expect? Impacts along the construction route will vary and range from road closures, dust, construction noise, and occasional service disruptions or odor. Some construction may also be required at night. The project is expected to last through April 2016. To learn more about this project and how it may affect you, visit our informative and interactive website at largo.com slash sewer construction. The City of Largo certainly appreciates your patience throughout this project and thanks you in advance for helping us make these needed improvements. So you're in Largo and you've got a great idea for the community, but you're not sure how to best share that idea. Well, look no further than Largo's brand new citizen engagement website called lovelargofl.com. You know, I think the biggest thing about the Love Largo FL is just the the just being able to have that conversation i know that's it's really something that us as as the commission and the city administration really wants to try to do is try to be able to hear those conversations this is just another tool for us to be able to see what people in the, in the city of largo are doing and and what they want from the city of largo and what they want in the city of largo but you know on, on a lot of things we've been trying the city of largo has been trying for the last several years to to have community conversations where we go out and kind of meet with the community in different ways or have the community come to us. Well, this, I believe, is another, another channel for them to be able to have that conversation, not necessarily with us as a city, but with other people in this, you know, other residents in, in the city or, or of this community. And I, I think it's a, important for people to have that conversation. So remember to check out lovelargofl.com and join the conversation today. Have you heard about some cool new technologies like 3D printing and Raspberry Pi, but you're not sure exactly what they are or how they work? Well, then check out the Largo Public Library's Idea Lab, but caution, get ready for a mindstorm. The Idea Lab was originally created to um, introduce our patrons to new and different technologies, especially things that they weren't going to be able to access on their own. For example, uh, we have a 3D printer in the lab, and a lot of people have heard about 3D printing or read about 3D printing, but they've never never seen one, or never seen one in action for sure. So the idea is to show people what they are, what they can do with them. It lays down a layer at a time. And so eventually it just builds from the bottom up and you have a you have your 3D printed item. What's really neat about it is that some things that are jointed, it can print all at the same time, so you don't have to print several different pieces. But for example, uh, we have this little elephant. He's one of my favorites. And he prints on his belly just like this. He prints, like I said, layers. You can even kind of see the layers sometimes. But when he's done, you pop him off, move him around a little bit, and he's good to go. He printed with, his, with movable joints all in one piece so we didn't have to do any any um, putting them together there was no no manufacturing on our end we just printed them um, we have a lego mindstorm kit and right now he's uh he's set up as a little guy that just uh moves around and grabs things but you can i'm also going to take him apart and make a car out of him we also have a raspberry pi which is a a small computer um hobbyists use them a lot to make things like a uh, security systems for their house or sound systems. To learn more about the Idea Lab, visit LargoPublicLibrary.org. And to experience the Idea Lab for yourself, you can visit during open lab hours or schedule time by calling 727-587-6715, extension 2529. Well, that about wraps up this edition of Largo V News. As always, thanks so much for watching, and thank you for subscribing to Largo E News. Now, if you're not yet receiving Largo E Newsletters, signing up is just plain easy. Visit Largo.com and click on the Sign Up for E Newsletters link. Well, again, thanks so much for watching Largo V News. We'll see you right here next time.